Hello everybody, I'm your friend and able let's play but I want to welcome you to Let's Play Blade Runner. I know I'm a bit late because of the things that happened, but now I'm here and let's start the game properly. Because the only thing I've done so far is just shown the intro to the game. So, what Blade Runner is, is an adventure game. It's uh, based uh, on the movie that came in the 80s, starring Harrison Ford and other awesome people. It's an awesome movie, which I really like. And this uh, game is uh, pretty much, uh, this uh, story happens uh, about the same time as Deckard's story happens in the Blade Runner movie. About, uh, well, pretty much in the same era of time period. Maybe a little earlier before the movie events happen. But, because there are same same characters from the movie and everything, that is why things happen just before the movie events happen. Something like that. I don't remember exactly, but I, that's what I think it is. So you're, you are investigating this. That's what the intro did. Yeah. You know what's happening. I don't know what I'm talking about. So let's get into it. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Nice snappy comeback there. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. So 30 accounts of animal murder and an aggravated assault. Cool. And I guess they didn't care about what happened there because if they have left the bloody bloody prints everywhere, they don't really care about being, you know, caught or not caught or anything. I do suspect that we might have some replicants going around here. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. I want to call it abstract art. But then again, it depends on what kind of, uh, you know, patterns happen on the walls with the blood. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Now, there's many ways that this game ends. This game has several endings, and it's always determined right at the start when you begin the game. There is nothing you can do about it. There may, may be some things that you can um, course your way to a certain ending of uh, the certain sequences that you can do. So you can curve your way to a different kind of ending. But otherwise the ending is already determined from the beginning when you start the game. So whenever you start a new game, it might be a different kind of ending that you will get. I have played this game, I played this game many times back in the day. And I've gotten about, uh, I think there's six different endings. And I've gotten about three of them. At least that's what I remember. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Ground cars. Now that is a rarity in this day of, day of age in the uh, Blade Runner universe. And also, I'm sorry that there are no subtitles in this game. They didn't develop any subtitles for the game. This was done in 1997, and I guess they didn't care about the subtitles, or they just forgot that you can put subtitles. So, yeah, there's not gonna be any subtitles, so if you have... If there's any kind of difficulty of hearing the dialogue or anything, just let me know in the comments and I'll amp up the volume. Although the dialogue volume should be the highest right now, so you should be able to hear it really well. And I've turned off the music because I don't want any copyright claims, which I've been getting all the time in YouTube because of all the copyright stuff. Some of them being really ridiculous, if you ask me. But this game does have the original soundtrack of Blade Runner, Evangelist music, so I have turned it off. Which is a shame because it's really good music and I love it, but I can't play the music. 
so sorry no music in the game so we'll have to just go in ambience remotely interesting but hell if i was going to root through trash my expectations weren't too high that could be something in the trash they could have thrown the uh, weapons in there and such some detective you are Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair. Well, that's what we saw in the beginning, and the other one was graceful. He was very poetic, too. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. 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 What yeah. they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. Well, that narrows it down a lot. No, I can still definitely tell who these guys are. <laughs> this is an easy job. All my animals. <laughs> Boo hoo. Now let's see, where was the thing that I needed to see so I can get some stuff there? You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of chinyans worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. That's how security cameras work, idiot. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. Good thing that you have it. Too bad we cannot look at all these animals. I wanted to hear what McCoy has to say about this. Now, let's see. Let's talk about Lucy. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. Can you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? Well, any insane human could do it. I mean, if these were synthetic animals instead of real animals, my any... precious one. Any... She was my baby. Any anti-synthetic group could do this. They were, they do exist in the universe, in the Blade Runner universe, don't they? At least I wouldn't my add them. precious one. She was my baby. Oh, shut up about your goddamn... You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer. Last May, I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron cult. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Ooh. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Well, you never know. They could be 50% artificial. They don't need to be completely real. It happens. Charlatans. You know, it can happen. So it's easy to tell what items you can pick up on the floor. I can sure I can I'm sure that you all people can tell which items I can pick up. Hmm. A toy dog. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. What else do we have here? A candy bar. Yuck. Yuck. You know, I guess he doesn't like sugar. Well, isn't that cute? Monkeys! Anything else here? Nope. That's pretty much all you can do around here. Just uh, talk to Ron Sitter, gather some evidence, and that's about it. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. 
Here you are. Thank you very much. And also, you don't need to... There is different types of... Uh, let me go to the menu here for a second. These are the conversation choices. So I have chosen this, which is the user choice that you saw, that I can pick up any topic that I want to ask about. But you can ch change your mood into, like it says, polite. Normal. Surly. Erratic. Then, if you choose any one of these uh, moods for McCoy, he will ask the questions he's on on his own way, depending on the uh, conversation choice that you choose. And that can affect the ending a little bit, but it doesn't really that much, but it does affect the, the investigation. All my animals. Big caliber, possibly off-world combat weaponry. Ballistics might give me a fix on it. I thought I could pick this up, but I can apparently because it doesn't highlight. Uh, I don't see anything else, so, uh... My precious one. She was my baby. Yeah, yeah, we get it. So here we can go to the, uh, clue base. The clue database. Here we have all the clues for the... And the suspect numbers here. But once we get photos and such, they will be added here. And then we can also... The, pretty much the KIA will automatically link all the clues to the uh, person in question. So we have, this is the uh, crime scene, then you have the suspect database, and then you have the clue database. It's pretty much the same things, just uh, in different order. Like here it shows which uh, clues are to which character. I don't know how it... Uh... Oh, yeah, that's how it works in the future. You have, you can carry a database in your pocket. It like, didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Whole execution of Runciter's place. Killing all the animals that there were. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. A big fat guy? That narrows it down. How about ethnicity? Any other characteristics about the guy? Just a big fat guy. I'm a big fat guy. Maybe it was me. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. So we, now we know that the car was a sedan and it was black. Just like the, uh... Painting marks on the fire hydrant there. We're getting closer of finding these suspects. <laughs> Slowly but surely. So this game game kind of works like a, it's a mix up with the adventure game and CSI. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. Okay, that's pretty much all we can do here. It's always good that in the in the beginning, before you go inside, you point out at the uh, at the uh, audience here, and when you come back outside, talk to him. You will get those uh, you will get those statements from the people. If you don't do that, you'll never get those statements. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. That's not really necessary to do because um, pretty much this case is now closed. Well, not closed, but the crime scene is. Uh, Pretty much closed. There's nothing else here to view. At least I don't Find think anything so. Anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So let's run our run into our car and go back to the police station to put down our clues and other stuff. That's our that's the run sitters. That's our apartment, I think. No, that's Chinatown. This is our apartment. Yep. And this is the police station. Let's go there and put the clues into the database and find out what we can find out about run sitters. You know, the pictures and everything. That's how it goes, crime scene investigation. And also we can just hang around here in the uh, police station for a while. Sorry. Sorry about that. Clicked out the window. Yeah, I always play in windowed mode. So sue me. 
Laboratory. Main frame and shooting range. Ground floor. Lockup. Ground floor. Let's go there first. Just for shits and giggles. Let's see if we can find anybody here except Boss. And there's somebody. What do you know? Zero that would interest you, Detective. Well, aren't you a delight? And also, the more you click on the spot that you're going to run to, the faster McCoy goes. That's the fastest speed he can run. Very useful when you go from place to place. So let's talk to the uh, lieutenant. What's it? Lieutenant Guzman, I think. Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, lieutenant. You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Is there anything that I can look at here? It'd be interesting to see what Bryant has here. Apparently not. Move, McCoy, move! And he vanished! <laughs> no! The vanishing cop act! Or something. Let's go to the basement. Let's see what we get. There's somebody here. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. I wonder what cause. Who are you, anyway? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up. Well, boo-hoo. You got locked up here. Migraine is acting up. Uh -uh. That's just a little side story that will happen here if you want to investigate. Mainframe and laboratory. Let's go to the lab. And ask if we can find anything out. Although we haven't really put anything into the uh, database yet. So Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Well, if it's historical, then... Yeah. Not hysterical. Historical, you know. Antique. Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State-of-the-art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Hopefully not. So the other one had a shotgun that is uh, off-world and an antique that packs quite the punch, and the other one was using a meat cleaver to chop them up. Lovely and <laughs> Just fucking fantastic. Fucking fantastic. <laughs> I was supposed to say something here. Something came to mind. But I kind of forgot. Oh yeah! The, the synthetics, and there's always been an aspect of the Blade Runner uh, mythos that I have always been wondering about. How do they make the synthetics? I mean, they make animals, they make humans, the replicants. But what is the material that they do make them of? Are they really just DNA and everything that they are manufactured human beings that they are flesh and blood but do they have or, or are they some kind of androids that they have computer parts in them or something I don't know it's all weird science all, all of weird science that they never explain and I gotta, gotta say that it's better to keep it that way that they don't explain how replicants and other synthetics are made because it, it goes well with the mythos you just have to wonder how are they made how do they work and how are they not uh, human huh. 
Mysteries of all ages. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant, it's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinning drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. Like I said, the ground car. Spoiler. <laughs> And they hit the fire hydrant head on. Not very good drivers, are they? But then again, in this day and age, in the Blade Runner myth universe, everybody has a flying car. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runcida's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. A Pontiac? Didn't they say it was a sedan? Is Pontiac and sedan the same thing? I don't know. I've already said in my test drive game, I don't know anything about cars. Especially when it comes to American models. I have no freaking idea if it's a Pontiac and Sedan is the same thing. Somebody just let me know if you want to tell me. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. Okay, that was all the evidence that he could talk to me about. Now let's go do the more... mainframe and shooting range. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month. Good news for a change, I guess. Lucky Strikes. Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. I have actually gotten a perfect score in the uh, firing range. It's not easy to do. But you can do it if you practice a lot. And I did. It's, it's kind of fun. The, it is the combat aspect of the game that you really need to learn how to do. Because you gotta be fast on the draw in some parts. Trust me. It's not gonna be fun. Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Anything interesting in them? Old copies of case files, Apparently notices, not. and memos. The usual station junk. Apparently nothing interesting in there. And also, if you look at the TV, you will get the score. So that's Crystal Steel. She's gotten a 64. I think the highest that I have gotten is 70, which I think is the highest score you can get, but I'm not too sure. And Deckard has only 10. That is Deckard, played by Harrison Ford in the movie. Gaff is the dude who makes those origamis in the movie. Guza is the guy who is in Brian's office right now. Brian is the captain and Holden is just another Blade Runner. At least that's what I remember. And I didn't want to look at McCoy. I wanted to go into the Esper room. Which is the database room. Now if you remember the movie, you will remember this. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. There. Now the database has all the clues that we added, but also we downloaded the database. So we might have some more clues. So let's see what are the new clues that we have. We have the Ronsitter, a crowd interview, chrome debris, graceful corpses. Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Yeah. About 30 counts of animal murder and one... Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for... Scratches and paint fl... A toy dog! Yeah, so from here you can uh, just check all the... Uh, the animal murder case. Uh, these are all the evidence that we have gotten so far. But also, since we downloaded the database, we have the factory bombing. This is a case of uh, somebody else. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell Manufacturing Plant. 
It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. The Tyrell Corporation's factory has been bombed. Sounds like a replicant going all haywire, and apparently a bombing expert. Or it could be, it could be also human who just uh, is a uh, pro-replicant that we shouldn't retire them and such. So yeah, that's Steele's case, and this is the Gr Gr Gregorian interview, A and B. The Gregorian is the guy that we saw at the basement. This is Crystal Steel badge number BR61354, conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery, November 22nd, 2019. CARS. I once again asked that my attorney... Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh, no. Recording off. Sounds like Steel is on to something big there. I wonder what. Describe them for me again. There was that Rastafarian fellow, and one of our ex-members showed up. Who's that? A Japanese man named Izo. Why'd you get rid of him? We're a pacifist organization, and we have rules. One of them is no weapons allowed. Izo refused to check in a samurai sword at the door during meetings. Where can I find this Izo? He owns one of those little secondhand stores downtown. Let me ask you a question. Who the hell bankrolls your operation? Well, we have a number of anonymous donors, people with resources and sources. Such as? So anonymous, even I don't know who they are. I almost believe you. I would believe him. He sounds like he was shitting his pants. What the hell did Crystal do to him? Or should I say steal? Crystal is her first name, and we're not really in the first name basis here, so it's steal. Yeah, lots of interesting stuff happening around here, I'd say. At least uh, with the bombing, and also this, our own case. So let's go to the Esper. Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Two. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Awesome. Run sitter crime scene. Now the fun part begins. We examine the photos. Just like in the movie where Decker looks at photos and finds all kind of evidence in them. This is the same kind of thing. And this is fun. This is all this is always what I like to do in this game. Just finding out what kind of information we can find in the images. Can we look at this? I don't think we can. It's nothing important. So I guess this is the tiger, his little baby. Yeah, that is the, definitely some kind of a Siberian tiger or something. But hello there, Lucy. Cameras, uh, photos don't really work that way, do not do they? Hello there, Lucy. That's what I Give said. Me a hard copy of that. That's what I really said. I said hello, Lucy. So let's take a picture of that. Her desk. There is something on there. So let's take a closer look. 
A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. Well, we knew about Howie Lee's already, so she really does like to eat there. Apparently. Or she just orders from there. Anything else about Lucy that we can take a look at? Well, she has a shoe. Maybe there's something interesting about the shoe. Ah, oh, she has a... It's some kind of insect. Give me a hard copy of that. Oh, it looks like a dragonfly to me. An ankle bracelet. Anything else was here? Eh, no. I don't remember anything else important being here. Those are pretty much the only images we can get out of this. Otherwise, we just look at animals that runs in their head. We don't really need to look at Runsitter because we know whom he's not a suspect of any kind here. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much that picture. Let's go to the second one. Runsitter crime scene. So McCoy was right. The camera did was able to get a picture of the suspects before they started the shooting. So let's take a closer look of you, you handsome devil you, you poetic replicant. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. How would he look familiar? You haven't seen him before. Have you, McCoy? At least we have seen him before. We saw him in the opening. But we cannot take a picture of the other guy. He's too much in the shadows for the, uh program to get his face so no matter how much you try you cannot take a picture of this dude here at least that's what I remember yep won't happen it ain't happening now, let's see if he had the uh, limp or maybe it is the big guy hmm Muddy boots. Guess he's from out of town. Give me a hard copy of that. So I guess he walks around them a lot. And then they also have the car. Yep. It's a ground car. A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Give me a hard copy of that. And then there's also the license plate. Local license plate. Give me a hard copy of that. I don't know if it is local, but if you say it's local, then it's local. Can we take a look at these hands? Uh, maybe there's something there. I think that's the door handle. I think. Not any kind of weapon. I think this is pretty much all we can get from this image. At least that's what I remember. Would be nice to see one if Ron Sitter had anything any info there that would incriminate him that yeah, he cheats on his customers. And that's pretty much all we can get from there. Uploading personal clue database. You gotta do this because you have to upload those new images. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Thank you very much, computer voice. So yeah, that's how it starts. Next time, we're gonna go and find our, ourselves some suspects or uh. other people to talk to and investigate this even further. So until then, hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.